So it's almost a tug of war and no one's winning right now. Sometimes in those setups, you can see some rainbows. You see a little sun, you see a little uh, rain shower. It's not the case right now. We don't have any sun, but first alert meteorologist Glenn Johnson does go in depth on beautiful rainbows. I was driving into work this morning and we were getting just a few breaks in the cloud cover, a little bit of sunshine mixed in with some of those rain showers that we had. And off in the distance, I could see just a bit of a rainbow. I was all optimistic about the weather and then that optimism went away pretty quickly. As you know, the remainder of the day was pretty gloomy. I wanted to show you some pictures from our viewers over the last six to eight months of rainbows. Some of these were double rainbows and it is certainly pretty when we do see this, at least for a couple of minutes. So what is the optimal ingredients to be able to see a rainbow? Now, ideally, you want to get into an open area where you can see the horizon very clearly. And you got to have, number one, rain falling in the distance, not where you're located, but off in the distance. Number two, it really comes down to the sun angle. The sun angle should be less than 42 degrees. And, you know, the way to remember this is that the shadow that you're casting is actually longer than the height you have yourself. And that'll give you an idea if the sun is at the right angle. Number three, well, you want to have the rainbow appearing opposite of the sun. You should have the sun at your back and then the rain event in front of you. And that'll give you the best possible view. And number four, the raindrops, the larger they are, the better view you're going to get of that rainbow because you're taking the visible light of the sun and then we're bending and refracting that visible light so very similar to what you get with a prism and that gives you a good view. Uh, we've had fog bows, snow bows, and even moon bows, very unusual, but it's going to give you certainly some optimism about the weather. Stacy.